Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video I will show you how you can hide sections in Elementor Pro and only show them when you are scrolling. So right now there's this header over here. When I scroll down, it's not sticky, but a new section appears, a different header. When I go to the services page and I scroll down, all of a sudden there's a call to action. You can create any section over here and display it at a certain place. And when I scroll up it disappears again so that's what you can do and i will show you in this tutorial how you can do that with elementor pro if you're newer please consider to subscribe for more upcoming wordpress elementor divi affiliate marketing and e-commerce related tutorials like this video if you like it and feel free to watch the rest of this video let's get started if you don't have elementor yet and you want to get it you can go to 30corp.com forward slash elementor hit enter this is an affiliate link, so when you get it through my link, you don't pay more, but I get a commission. So thank you for that. And then here at pricing, you can get Elementor for one website, for three websites, for, or for a thousand websites for $49.99 or $199 per year. It's a great deal. You pay for this package less than $5 per month and you can make amazing websites with Elementor Pro. So if you get it, you can follow along in this tutorial. And if you have it already, that's awesome. Then you can follow along in this tutorial. So here at my tutorial domain, I have a header that looks like this, this area over here, then this transparent area. And when I scroll down, it starts to look like that. And when I scroll up, it looks like that again. If you want to learn how to do that, you can click over here. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can have a complete different header appearing when you scroll. So this one will disappear and it will appear a new one. And you decide how that will look. So let me show you how we will do that first. I want to get rid of this area on the homepage. So I click on edit and I edit the sticky header, this area. And then here at display conditions, I want to exclude it on the home page, front page, save it. Awesome. I go to the website and now it's not there anymore. So I want to go to the back end. Then I want to go to templates, theme builder. Of course, we will use the new one. So you'll see this area and I want to create a new header. So I click on add new and then header. I click on the plus. Then we can import a pre-made header. I want to start from scratch, but this is not a header template tutorial. So I'll fast forward and create something really quick. Okay. What I want to do now, I want to duplicate this area. And now I want to add a new column over here. I will remove this element and I want to go for a button that says get Elementor Pro. You need it in order to do this. So HTTPS 30 corp.com forward slash Elementor. I bring this to the right. I bring it uh, into the style of the website. I have no style yet. So I can create something like that. Okay. What I want to do. I want to bring, I want to make this logo look better. So over here, I say 25 over here. I say it should be 25 in here. It should be 50. So let's see. Now I want to change a few things. So I click over here. I want to change the background of the header. So at style, I go to the background type and I make it dark. Then I want to change the logo to a white logo. It needs to be the same height and width, the same resolution. Over here, I go to the style, make this white. When people hover over it, it should be a little bit grayish like that. And when people are on that page, it should also have this color. And when people hover over here, It can get a green button or become a green button. Okay. I want to optimize it. So let me see how does it look on the tablet and how on the mobile, on the mobile, I want to get rid of this area. So I click on that area and I scroll down at the responsive area. I say hide it on the mobile. So what we have over here is a header that is not sticky. And I want this to be sticky when I scroll down with a nice animation. How can I do that? I click over here. I go to advanced and I call this, give it a CSS class. I call this one sticky dash header. 
Okay. Then I close this and I go to motion effects and I go to sticky and I say top. So now when we scroll down, it sticks with us. So this one disappears. This one sticks with us. So far, so good. If I want to publish it, I click over here and I want to add it to the homepage. So I say singular page or homepage, front page, save it. I view the, I view the live site and then this is how it looks. If I want to see how it will look, what I can do, I can create a second area or a third area with a one column. Make it really high, minimum height of, let's say, 800. Then I give it a background gradient. Okay, something like that. And then I want to have a little bit of reference. So over here I say reference, bring it to the center, make it white. So when I scroll, I see I'm scrolling. So if I update it, and I click on the eye, preview, I can see the result immediately. This is okay when I uh, scroll down. I don't want to see this anymore. But what I want, I want to make this invisible when I'm not scrolling. I want it to become visible only when I'm scrolling. How can I do that? Well, over here, let's see. We have a minimum height. Let's change, uh, create that of 700. I mean 70. Also over here. The minimum height should be 70. What I want to do, I want to create some structure over here. So I go to the navigator, I collapse everything and there are three sections. I call the upper one, this area, the static header and below double click the sticky header and below that the reference section. And what I want now, I want this area to disappear when I'm not scrolling. So now you see two headers. It looks a little bit weird. I don't want that. How can I get rid of this? Well, we need a CSS code for that. You can get it at 30corp.com. Hit enter. Then you go to tutorials, Elementor Pro. I have a complete tutorial about Elementor Pro. So if you want to watch that, you can click over here. I scroll down to the change complete header on scroll area. What I say over here, the sticky header, uh, I give this a title sticky header. This should be 70 pixels on top. So it should go 70 pixels up and it should have a Z index, a layer of minus one. So it will be behind this area. When it changes this position, it should transition to the top in one second with a nice ease animation. And it says important over here because then it will override the settings of Elementor. When I start to scroll, there is a special code that will be added in the Elementor page. That is this code. So I say the sticky header, when this appears, should go to the top of zero pixels. But when that happens, it will go with a transition of one second. You don't have to understand this. I will copy this then. Selecting this, I go to the advanced settings. Here I see the sticky header class. So if I scroll down, I can go to the custom CSS and I paste this area over here. Look what happens. It looks a little bit weird. No problem. Okay, then I go to the navigator to select the static header. I go to the style. I want to give this a background that is most white. So you don't see the background behind it. If I click on update, what I see is this, it looks weird, but we're getting somewhere. What I don't want is this gap over here. So what I need to do, I need to go to the navigator, to the static header and there at advanced, I uncheck this and I say 70, but then minus. So it will bring the next area more to the top. Now when I scroll, now you see nothing. Where is the header? Well, if I will go to the home page by clicking here and I scroll down, you see nothing. But if I scroll down even more and more, there it appears. So what happens It's behind the layers. It has everything to do with the Z index. So then I go to the sticky header, advanced, custom CSS. And when it's transitioning, I need to copy this Z index 
right here it's minus one so it's beneath this behind this but when i'm scrolling hit enter paste it i want to say 10. so it will be in front of everything let's see i scroll down but it appears already i don't want that why i need to go back to the sticky header scroll up go to motion effects and the effect offset, when should it take place? After how many pixels? If I would say 300, and I update it, there it is. What happens? It goes behind this area because we said that the top, at the custom CSS, the top should be zero pixels, even when I'm logged in. So what I prefer to do, I like to go to Safari, where I'm not logged in, paste the link, now at the home page, when I scroll down, there it appears. The button looks weird. I should fix that. But right now, it looks really nice. And it appears after 300 pixels. So what you can do, let's go to Chrome again. We can go to uh, motion effects and change the offset to 140. Update. So I scroll and when I do not see it anymore, then it appears. And when I scroll back, it is gone. It goes beneath it. So that's what you can do. Uh, what I want to do now, I want to get rid of this reference area, delete it, update, go to the home page. So it looks like this, beautiful, I scroll down and there it appears. And when I go back, it looks like that. So let's do something else. You can do so much more with this. I go to the service page. What I want to do, when I go over here, I want to add something here at the top. So let me edit this page. I scroll down, I click on the plus over here. I create a new area. I can have a call to action, for instance. Let's uh, change the background to something dark. I can add a header. Get Elementor Pro. Change the color to white. Go over here. Change this to middle. And you know what? Get this a height of. 60 minimum height 60 at the right i can have a button get elementor pro bring it to the right typography the color i want it to be white the background Something like that. And when I hover over it, it becomes green. Okay. And now I can say over here, at the section advanced motion effects, top update. I take a look. Now it sticks with us. But what I want to do, I want it to disappear and only be shown when I scroll past this area. How can we do that? Well, we need to dive a little bit deeper into CSS. I'm not a CSS guru at all. I tried to figure it out today and I know how it works now and now I can show you. So what I can do, I need to add the same code. Command C. I go to the services page over here. Layout. Let's make it 70. Then I go to advanced. And then advanced here at class, I can say sticky header again, or I can call this one different. I say sticky L, like sticky Elementor. Then I go to the custom CSS. Of course, I will call this sticky L. Also this one, sticky L. Then I go over here, advanced, uncheck, 70. And then minus, so you see it not, you don't see it anymore. Then I need to go to the navigator. Where is it? 
we need to find it. So let me see. Here it is, Sticky L. So I double click and I call this one Sticky Elementor Pro Add. And I update it and let's see what happens. I scroll down. Nothing happens. So again, I go to the custom CSS. I copy the index and over here, enter, make it 10. So it will be visible when I scroll, as you see, update. Now when I scroll, it appears and it's uh, stuttering a bit because I'm showing a, a video here in the background and I'm recording all the things, all those things at the same time. So if I go to the services page, I scroll down and from this area on it appears and again you don't see this because of this area but if i would go to safari i scroll down and from this area you can let this appear and when i scroll up it disappears so that is what you can do with this css trick Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a ton of stuff. Feel free to like this video, subscribe for more upcoming videos, and then you will see me in the next video. And I will see you. Bye-bye.